Ladies and gentlemen, nominated for an Academy Award as Best Actress for her role in Claudine, and nominated for an Emmy Award as Best Actress for her groundbreaking role in Julia, please welcome to the stage the Tony Award and Golden Globe winning legendary Miss Diane Carroll. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diane Carroll. And someone just asked me, where have I been? And I said, don't you know, I've been living with Matt Bomer for two years. in New York. So as the Pioneer Arts and Activism Award handed out earlier this evening, the New Generation Arts and Activism Award, generously sponsored for the third year by the magnanimous Helen Galen. Please, let's thank Helen all the time. So this is given to a star of stage, film, or television who uses their celebrity to bring greater awareness to AIDS-related issues in the media. In honoring one of the new crop of celebrity activists, DAP hopes to encourage other young stars to be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. In our current climate, where starlets routinely misbehave in public, these are not my words, and fortune goes to many actors and singers where the reality stars who wed briefly for anything in the world except love, it's nice to know that some are just hardworking guys who realize how fortunate they are to have gotten the lucky breaks. The dads are more than happy to just bring home the famous bacon and leave all the tantrums and foibles to others, lesser celestial beings. <coughs> One such is our next honoree. This evening, my colleague, and star of USA Network's White Collar, Mr. Matt Bomer. Please do, yes. I've been there long enough just to recognize how serious and dedicated he is to his work, wherever he chooses to display it. And Matt has always known that by lending his name by showing his handsome face. Is that a handsome face? <laughs> and by raising his strong voice, he can help make a difference. He has always understood that just by showing up, he can cause someone to take note, to listen, and perhaps buy a ticket. Not content to simply shine, serving as a handsome face, upon which millions of men and women project their fantasies, which men and women project their fantasies. <laughs> Matt has shame on you. Matt has been a vocal supporter of equal rights for all and of HIV awareness ever since his newfound notoriety, ever since the notoriety propelled him into a public platform. He's participated in such events as the New York City AIDS Walk and spreads a message to young and old 
to have themselves tested and to practice safe sex without fail. Yes, I like that too. I wrote that part. A staunch believer in marriage equality, Matt has also spoken out on that topic to anyone who will listen and was one of the stars to appeal in the stage production of Eight, that play by Oscar-winning screenwriter Dustin Lance Black revolves around the legal saga of California's anti-gay marriage proposition eight. It was directed by Joe Mantello and performed for one night only at the Eugene O'Neill Theater on Broadway last fall to benefit the American Foundation for Equal Rights and Broadway Impact. I personally hope that Matt never ceases to seize the opportunity his stardom now affords him to speak at the podium and climb soapboxes all around the country and really throughout the world, bring us all closer to equal and fair treatment under the law, taking us closer today without HIV and AIDS. So please help me welcome to the stage the recipient of the 2011 New Generation Arts and Activism Award, my friend, my darling, Mr. Matt Bomer. Wow. Can we have another hand for Miss Diane Carroll for coming out tonight, please? I love you. Ah, uh, man, there's a... Uh, there's a long list of people who should be standing up here before me tonight, uh, many of whom are here tonight. Uh, but uh, it's an honor to receive this award from an, an organization that does so much in terms of community outreach and education and testing and uh, just uh, human rights, for human rights. I thank you so much for this. Um, I. Uh, I've learned so much. My world has really been rocked doing research for uh, The Normal Heart, just in terms uh, of the history of HIV and AIDS, um, from those bleak first days uh, to, as Jim so eloquently put it earlier tonight, uh, how far we've come and how far we have to go. Uh, and so I'm very proud to receive this award from an organization that is at the forefront of carrying a torch into a very, very bright future. Um, I'm also uh, especially pleased to be receiving this from the legendary Miss Diane Carroll, uh, who's been a huge influence in my life. I remember when we first started working together, we were all so fascinated and curious because we wanted to know, you know, what was it like being the first African-American woman to star in your own TV series, and, which is huge. And uh, her response was, you know, it was just a really great role. And I never thought of myself that way. I just thought of myself as an actress playing a role. And those words have been profoundly impactful on me. And Diane, I love you. <laughs> um, I'd like to give a special shout out to my table, because they're both uh, beautiful and feisty, which is a really fun combination. Uh, and I'd really especially like to thank my beautiful family, Simon, Kit, Walker, Henry, thank you for teaching me what unconditional love is. Uh, I, you will always be my proudest accomplishment. God bless you. Thank you.